वेलकम बैक द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन लर्निंग अपाजी स्पार्क इज टू गेट एक्सेस टू द स्पार्क सिस्टम देर आर मेनी वेज यू कैन गेट स्पार्क एंड हियर आर सम स्टैंडर्ड मैथड्स फॉर अ लर्नर द इजिएस्ट मैथड टू गेट स्पार्क इज टू डाउनलोड द स्पार्क बाइनरीज एंड रन दम इन लोकल मोड ऑन योर लैपटॉप दिस इज द सुपर सिंपल मैथड बट यू विल हैव एक्सेस टू द स्पार्क फ्रॉम द कमांड लाइन ऑनली we will be using this approach in some of the examples and i have a separate video to help you set up local mode spark on your laptop or desktop the next and the most common method is to run spark in your ide such as intellij idea this approach is the most effective method for spark developers and most of the lectures in this course will be using this approach The third approach of using Spark is to get access to the DataBricks cloud environment. This approach is also one of the most common methods and you will be using Spark from DataBricks notebook. DataBricks cloud is the most popular commercial Spark offering which runs only in cloud platforms. I'll also demonstrate this approach and help you familiarize yourself with the DataBricks cloud. The next standard method for using Spark is via Zeppelin notebooks. This approach is commonly used by developers when they are working with Cloudera Spark distribution. I'll also cover this method. There are many different options and Spark offerings such as Amazon EMR, Google Data Proc, Azure HD Insight and maybe a few more. However, these offerings are all commercial and have a tiny presence in real life projects. So I am not going to include these in this course. However, I might be referring and using some of these here and there to cover the main objective of learning Spark. All the four options which I talked about are going to run Spark on a single machine or on a single virtual machine. However, Spark is a distributed processing system and the real life projects would be running it on multi-node cluster environment. While Spark development and unit testing activity happen on a single machine, but a learner must have some exposure to the Spark cluster. So, I'll be using Cloudera cluster and Google Cloud platform to expose you to the clustered environment. Great. That's all for this lecture. Let's start setting up Spark environment in the next video. Keep learning and keep growing. 